Hey friends, we were in Deuteronomy 4-9 through 9 last week, and I'd like to go back to the reading in chapter 9 just to remind us of some of what Moses said to the Israelites standing and looking out across at their future home that was supposed to remind them of Eden. Verse 4 says, Do not say in your heart, after the Lord your God has thrust them, the nations they are going in to dispossess, out before you. It is because of my righteousness that the Lord has brought me in to possess this land, whereas it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. Not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart are you going in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God is driving them out from before you, and that he may confirm the word that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know therefore that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stubborn people. Humility. That's kind of where we landed on Sunday morning as we talked about these chapters. And I just wonder, what is it about humility that's so difficult? If you look over my shoulder here, you can see two incredible chocolatey treats that were made. They were made for Lisa Wiebrink's birthday. She's part of our support staff that keeps everything so clean and healthy for us here, including on Sunday mornings. But you see that brownie? The brownie was clearly part of the popular treats that were created for her. What is it about me that makes me think that I deserve that brownie? If humility is putting others before myself, why do I struggle so much with it? And so I ask you, friends, what is it about being an American that makes struggle with humility so difficult? What is it that could become an obstacle between me in humility, or you in humility, as we live in this COVID world. Keep walking three miles an hour. Keep trusting in the Lord for wisdom. And try to practice humility with each other. Hope to see you again soon.